We're in the southeast to investigate why it is so much more hazy here in the summer than it is in the winter. And this haze affects air quality. It is what makes air look polluted. Um, but it also affects the climate. Now, we know that the eastern U.S. has not warmed like the rest of the nation. So there is this thought out there that that lack of a warming trend could be due to the particles in the area, the fine particles in the haze. So at present, we've had measurements in this area for uh, roughly the last 15 years. And what those measurements show uh, is a gradual improvement in this haziness. It is getting better, it's getting less hazy. And so that tells you right off the bat that probably a large part of this haziness is, is not natural, but it is man-made. And what we'd like to do this summer is, with a lot more detailed measurements, uh, decide to what extent the, the haze at this point is uh, controlled by man-made emissions. So we are here in Smyrna uh, with the Senex project and we are measuring volatile organic compounds in ambient air. Volatile organic compounds uh, are different gases that are present in the atmosphere and they come from just about everything, from natural sources as well as human related activities. So we measure volatile organic compounds because they provide um, a lot of the background information um, that is required to determine where these air masses um, are coming from and what kind of emission sources um, they've been exposed to. So for instance, uh, forests emit certain kinds of VOCs. Um, as an example, it would be something like isoprene. We also see different kinds of emissions from uh, tailpipes. So we know when we've had uh, urban emissions and we also know what industrial emissions look like. And these VOCs provide these tracers in order to uh, determine where these air masses are coming from. We wanted to co-locate here in the south, south, southeast U.S. so that we could take advantage of making measurements in the same time and place as the NOAA platform, the NOAA P3 with their Cenex project, and also the ground sites. When you have multiple airplanes, the Long Easy, the NOAA P3, and the NSF C-130 flying over the same ground sites to give you ground truth, flying in different regions at the same time, or covering a full season with many, with twice as many flights. You double the scientific value. Flights typically take seven hours. Um, physically, they're very demanding. The uh, aircraft is mostly down low where it's very um, bouncy, and it's hot, it's very noisy. So it's really, really hard work. And then after seven hours, we come back, all of the scientists come back to the airport. Um, they're eager to download their data from their instruments and start with the initial analyses. So the southeast is special because of the, uh, the natural emissions from the forests you have here. Uh, they are the highest in the United States. Um, however, you have natural emissions from forests almost everywhere in the U.S. And, and elsewhere. So we're using the southeast as a test bed for natural emissions, but, uh, but we think that the results from this study will be important to understand air quality and climate uh, elsewhere as well.